Day 42, May 12th, 2022. Ag Solar. Installed solar panels on my house 42 days ago. They're still not working. I'm getting ready to call them again, but they never returned my phone calls. And it took them three weeks to pay for the permits after it was installed. I did not know that until I called the inspection office. Then they paid it immediately when I asked them to. Then it took them two weeks to send the proper paperwork according to the inspection office in Jonesboro. And we failed our city inspection a couple days ago. I called and asked them to return my call. And of course they did not. So we, we were going to fail the inspection. It should have been two weeks after the install instead of six weeks after. But here I go. I'm giving them a call to see if I can find anything out. Thank you for calling Ag Solar. We are currently closed. Please try us during regular business hours. Thank you and have a great day. Okay. So this happened last Friday. Last Friday, when you would think would be business hours, I called and it said they were closed, called during regular business hours. This is a Thursday. There is no reason at 929 AM they should be out of the office, barring some type of an emergency or something. You know, I mean, and this is two weeks in a row, unless they're only open Monday through Thursday, or maybe they're open Monday through Wednesday. Who knows? This is very frustrating. I'm tired of dealing with it. I don't want to deal with it anymore, but what choice do I have? At what point do I contact the Attorney General of Arkansas or maybe pay my lawyer to get on it? I hate to, I hate to help him pay his electric bill. I do. You know, what do I do? Better Business Bureau? Contact them? Somebody suggested I contact the company that financed them and tell them, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. But anyway, it sure is a mess. Ag Solar sucks. They really, really suck. They will not return a phone call. Imagine this. Imagine you own a solar company. You know, you install solar panels. Now let's imagine the electrician you hire, the one that travels around with your installers to do the electrical part. He forgot to put a junction, well, he didn't forget, he just didn't do it. He didn't put a junction box in the attic where the wires come together. Apparently that's required by law. He didn't do it. Even though the city inspector said he, sh he knew to, he just didn't do it. Okay, so now you own this company and your electrician did that. And the homeowner requests you give him a call. Are you going to call him? If not, you have no business owning a business. You don't. You've got to keep customers. You've got to let them know what's going on. Even if you're working behind the scenes, you've got to let them know. Them not returning my call is the height, the height of irresponsibility and rudeness. At this point, they are being completely rude. Jackasses. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I really don't, you know, other than just keep calling and keep bugging. But at some point I am going to file a complaint with the attorney general of Arkansas. I don't know if that'll do any good. At some point I'm going to contact the better business bureau. And at some point I'll eventually call our lawyer and see if he needs some money. <laughs> oh boy. You know, what a mess. What a mess. All right. Do not buy solar panels from ag solar. Don't do it. Okay, but here's the phone number in case you want to, in case you want to prove me wrong, in case you want to go through this. Or, you know, but ask them when they're giving you the presentation, when they talk about how good they are, when they're giving you the presentation, at least ask them, say, hey, what about that McFink boy, McFink man? Okay, <laughs> I can't pass that boy. What about that McFink man over there in Jonesboro, Arkansas? Especially if his name is Carlos. Carlos, he'll sell you the stuff, but he will not return your phone calls after you sign the contract. He will not answer your emails after you sign the contract. Once he gets your name on the dotted line, he don't give a crap. Or perhaps all his emails get redirected to the trash can automatically. I don't know. But old Carlos, I tell you what, he sure was friendly when he was selling them to us. He don't want nothing to do with us now. They're closed, and if they were open, they wouldn't call me.
they never have before. The one time I talked to him, the lady transferred me to the manager and he actually took the phone call. The rest of the times, she says, the manager is busy, but he'll call you back today. And then he never does. If y'all have any advice on this, if you have any suggestions at all, let me know. Also, I know some of y'all are watching this every day, but there are people watching it for the first time. Ag Solar told me, oh, Carlos told me, the salesman, that on average it takes two to three weeks to get these working after the install. And then when the three week mark was up, and I called to see why they hadn't paid the uh, for the, in, the permit, I was told, oh no, 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 four to six weeks is average. Four to six is average. Well, tomorrow is six. And like I said, we are a month behind because Ag Solar just simply cannot or will not do their job. All right. I'm done. See you later. Bye.